Welcome back. It is the Buckmaster Show and the Green Things Zocalo Village Studio. Time for our CEO interview series on Buckmaster presented by our friends at Sun Corridor, Inc., which is a transformative economic development organization representing one of the most dynamic and growing major business centers in North America. Sun Corridor, Inc. is a CEO-driven regional alliance whose members aggressively champion mega-regional issues that impact economic competitiveness and quality of life. The organization has helped to drive significant business investment in into Tucson and southern Arizona through primary job creation, resulting in an economic impact of, get this, $24.8 billion, with a B, dollars. And that includes 168 company locates and expansions, supporting nearly 50,000 jobs. For more information, visit suncorridorinc.com. With me on the live line, Danette Buley, the interim president and CEO of the Tucson Airport Authority. Prior to her current position, she was vice president of operations and the chief operating officer responsible for overseeing the day-to-day operations of Tucson International Airport and Ryan Airfield. Danette, how are you? I'm well. Thank you so much for having me on your show today. Well, it's very serendipitous to have you on the program. Thanksgiving is one week from today. I will be joining a lot of people next Wednesday morning out at TIA as we get ready to travel for the holidays. Uh, What kind of a holiday season are you expecting, Danette, out at uh, TUS? Well, um, as you can imagine, everybody wants to go visit their family and friends. So <laughs> any time between, you know, really starting as early as this weekend and and all through the, the next week and possibly, you know, Monday and Tuesday following Thanksgiving is usually one of the busiest times of the year for, uh, for most airports, ours included. So we're expecting a pretty crowd. And uh, I, I would imagine the airlines are excited about filling those seats and getting everybody happily to their destination so they can eat lots of great food and be with their family and friends. <laughs> About 166,000 passengers are expected to go through Tucson International Airport in the 13 days surrounding Thanksgiving this year. That's about 40% more per day than the average yeah. as the airlines have boosted the number of flights by an average of 7% over the holiday period. This is real indicative, is it not, Dan, uh, Danette, of, of the people that are coming uh, and going through? The numbers have looked real good, haven't they, at TIA? Oh, yeah. You know, we're, we're very fortunate that we've got strong uh, market, strong ridership, and, you know, the airlines recognize that. They're constantly looking at the route structure, looking at what type of aircraft they should put into our market if they should upgauge it, which means increase the size of the aircraft to support the uh, the groups that are traveling. And as, as you can imagine, we're always interested in expanding our service, either existing air service or bringing in new service to the airport. That's always one of our primary goals. Uh, but for this Thanksgiving, you know, we're just thrilled the airlines are uh, adding those extra flights so that we can serve our passengers and serve our community. Uh, Danette, there's a lot of exciting things coming uh, down the pipeline at TIA. The large runway project uh, is up and running. Can you tell us about that project? What's that going to mean for for the airport and the community? Oh, absolutely. We're, we're very excited about this uh, project. It's called the Airfield Safety Enhancement Program. And um, Technically, it's a a project that falls under the the guidelines of a safety and standards project. Um, Just like roads and bridges, the FAA looks at safety of runways and taxiways. And as standards change, when we do our projects, we need to update our our airfields to meet those new standards. Um, So the enhancements for us is that we have a a parallel runway system at at, uh, TUS, However, our parallel runway includes a a smaller general aviation only runway. So our project will then demolish the smaller general aviation runway, but relocate it about 100 feet 
expand it so that it's the full width, 150 feet wide by 11,000 feet long runway. So truly parallel to our existing runway. And what that provides us is that added safety that we have that the parallel runways. Uh, the other thing is that we'll have a taxiway that separates the two runways. And this is a new standard the FAA has adopted so that as pilots are transitioning from one area to another, they don't inadvertently cross an active runway um, by mistake. You know, that's a safety issue. Um, so that, that'll be part of our program as well. And although it's not one of the reasons we cited the need for this project, but enhanced and increased capacity is, is really a side benefit of our program. So um, we're excited about that. And of course, having the complex air traffic that we have at TUS includes the airlines, which is the uh, commercial carriers, cargo carriers. And then we have an interesting mix of our military partners, the F-16s primarily, and then we have general aviation, which can be anything from a Cessna, you know, 152 all, all the way up to a corporate jet. So we have a very interesting and dynamic mix of, of air traffic. So having that um, that dual runway system that can really be parallel um, really does provide us that added safety for um, not only um, air traffic control being able to keep everybody separated, but also for the the pilots and our passengers, of course. We're speaking so very with, exciting. We're speaking with Danette Buley, the interim president and CEO of the Tucson Airport Authority. And I know the uh, Tucson Airport Authority is excited about this partnership with Sun Corridor Inc. Tell us briefly about that, would you please? Oh, of course. We are very excited. You know, airport has um, quite a bit of land um, outside of the airfield area that is positioned for future development and with some corridors reach into you know into the nation uh, tapping into corporations that might want to relocate to our area it, it just made sense for us to partner with them so that as they um, have information about potential relocations that we can you know offer up our land as a potential site for their relocations. So that's one of the, the benefits. You know, we can focus on running our, our airport as a transportation hub for the region, and they can help us uh, attract uh, new businesses or expand businesses and new companies to the Tucson region. It's a, it's a real growth opportunity for all of us, and, and we're excited to be partnered with Sun Corridor. You know, I'm a huge fan, as our listeners know, of the Tucson International Airport. I always tell people, fly out of Tucson rather than Phoenix, for sure. Thank you. Uh, I'll tell you something, but I'm not alone. The satisfaction rating for the Tucson International Airport is very high, a 99% satisfaction rating. You've got to be very proud of that, Danette. Oh, yes, we are. You know, it takes a team effort, and I don't just mean at the TAA. That that rating is achieved because the airlines are offering excellent customer service. Our TSA partners and other federal partners, our concessionaires, everybody is really interested in making sure that the customer experience is positive. And what makes Tucson such a wonderful airport to transit through is that it's a very uh, stress-free experience from the time you park or drop off your rental car or be dropped off at the curb all the way through security uh, uh, screening and then out to the to the gate. You have all the opportunities to stop and get some food, local regional food. You can get uh, Beyond Bread or if you're interested in something uh, like um, a beverage, you can hit Thunder Canyon Brewery. So we, we really do bring that local flavor into the airport so our passengers get a little sense of Tucson on their way in and on their way out. So um, we're really pleased about that. Danette Bruley, uh, Bewley, the interim president and CEO of the Tucson uh, International Airport Authority. Thank you very much, Danette, uh, for, be w for with us, uh, being with us today. Th appreciate it. My pleasure. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. The Buckmaster Show CEO interview series is presented by Sun Corridor, Inc. For more information, visit suncorridorinc.com. We'll be right back.